The following module is one part in a series developed by the Quality Improvement Corps for the National Maternal and Child Health Workforce Development Center. This module will introduce the fishbone diagram, which is a tool to conduct a root cause analysis. By the end of this module, learners will be able to define root cause and why it is important, define the fishbone diagram and explain how it is used, and finally, describe an example of how to use a fishbone diagram. Once your team has established the aim of your project and determined how you will measure improvements, the next step is to identify specific change ideas you want to make and prioritize which ideas to focus on first. The fishbone diagram helps your team drill down to the root cause so that you can identify specific change ideas. It is important to drill down to the root cause before identifying any specific change ideas. A root cause is an underlying breakdown or failure of a process. Identifying root cause is important because it reveals the true reasons why a problem is occurring. It avoids putting a band-aid on the symptom of a problem. Once the root cause is found, you can focus on identifying ways to fix the problem. You will know that you have found and fixed the root cause of a problem when the problem goes away and does not reoccur. The Fishbone Diagram, also known as the Ishikawa Diagram, is a tool used to identify root causes. It is a visual display that allows your team to organize information and identify multiple underlying causes of a problem. It is used to provide structure to brainstorming sessions enable your team to think through all potential causes of a problem, break problems into smaller pieces, focus on causes rather than symptoms, and prioritize and focus on specific areas. This is what a fishbone diagram looks like. A problem statement, the problem you are identifying root causes for, goes at the head of the fish, and the causes of the problem are broken down into four different categories, and represent the bones of the fish. This diagram uses the four M's as categories, methods, materials, machine, which is technology, and manpower. You can also use the four P's as categories, policies, procedures, plant, technology, and people. As you brainstorm possible causes of the problem with your team, List each cause under the appropriate category. It isn't necessary to spend too much time on deciding in which category something goes into. For example, policy versus procedure. What is important is that everyone's ideas on causes of the problem are represented on the diagram. Let's quickly review the steps for using the Fishbone Diagram. The first step is to identify your problem and put it at the head of the fish. The second step is to determine the major categories you want to use for the diagram, either the four P's, procedures, policies, place or technology, and people, or the four M's, methods, machine, materials, manpower, or people. After choosing your categories, the third step is to identify factors that fall under each category. To do so, you can use any data currently collected from observations, focus groups, or surveys. Have your team brainstorm ideas as a group for each category. When identifying factors contributing to the problem, try to focus on the people or manpower category last. The blame for an issue can fall on an individual when the process or materials that person is working with are truly at fault. Saving the people category for last prevents faulting a staff member before thinking through all system causes. After brainstorming ideas, the fourth step is to evaluate the diagram and take a look at the balance. Are there categories that have fewer causes identified? Do we need to collect more data to identify additional causes? Which category has the most factors? Are we heavy on the people category? One strategy for action is to focus on the category that has the most factors or causes. Review the causes and prioritize the causes that are the vital few 
that contribute most to the problem. Then, identify potential solutions for these vital few causes. Your team may need to use the five whys method to drill down to the root cause of each of the sub-causes in the fishbone diagram. Once you have a list of solutions, the last step is to test each one using plan, do, study, act cycles. There is a separate module available on the plan, do, study, act cycles. Here is an example of a fishbone diagram used to investigate root causes of a maternal and child health problem. The problem statement is, from 2010 to 2015, the rate of SIDS cases in one county is 30% higher than other state counties. This diagram uses the four P's as categories. Let's take a look at the few of the causes listed in the categories. Under procedures, we have a lack of safe sleep education materials at hospitals or that the existing education materials are not culturally sensitive. Under policies, communication methods to women and families are outdated or high rates of tobacco in the county have not been properly addressed. Under plant slash technology, we have social media sites are blocked by the health department so they cannot be used for outreach or GSI mapping is unavailable to visualize SIDS cases to aid full understanding of the data. Lastly, in the people category, community partners have not been engaged in safe sleep efforts or there are no physicians safe sleep champions at the county hospital. Now that the diagram is filled out, this health department can take a look at the diagram and decide which factors to prioritize and start brainstorming solutions. There can be more than one root cause of an issue, and the fishbone diagram is a tool to help you identify all possible underlying causes before tackling solutions. Now let's try it. Think of a problem you are experiencing in your daily work life. How can you use the fishbone diagram to help identify the root cause of the problem? I encourage you to use the provided link to check out the quality improvement step-by-step -step guide for links to the fishbone diagram template and examples. Thanks for listening.